so we can see uh, also hypermetabolism that is weight loss lassitude anorexia and night sweats and we see splenomegaly and uh, bleeding tendency we, we have seen already that uh, the myeloid uh, predominance is seen so there is a decreased uh, from uh, other uh, series like erythroid my uh, and thrombocytopenia can be seen so easy bruising epistasis malaria and hematomas can be seen that is uh, due to bleeding armata because of uh, decreased thrombocytes and also in juvenile cml that is which occurs in the juveniles we can see lymph node enlargement instead of splenomegaly and also they have frequent infections and rashes on the skin and uh, coming to lab diagnosis in lab diagnosis we see blood picture next bone marrow examination cytochemical study that is uh, chromosomal studies and also some scores like nap score that is uh, uh, neutrophil uh, alkaline uh, something neutrophil alkaline phosphatase nap score we'll see in cytochemical and other like vitamin b12 and other diagnosis okay so first in blood we see anemia that is normocytic normochromic anemia i have said the reason because of erythroid series is not uh, so dominant here and wbc we can see leukocytosis there is increased number of leukocytes about 2 lakh per microliter so generally cml have three phases of development so first we see chronic phase so in chronic phase what we'll see is there is increased mature forms or maturing forms like increased myelocytes metamyelocytes and also there is uh, myeloblasts are less than 10 percent i have already said that myeloblasts are the immature forms uh, they are less than 10 percent and uh, there is increased basophils about 10 percent that is uh, so much generally we see one or two basophils uh, in uh, differential leukocyte count but here about 10 percent is very high and uh, next phase is the accelerated phase so in this we can see increased anemia and blasts are uh, developing like 10 to 20 percent of the blast so uh, these three phases are generally going towards the blastic phase which means AML similar to AML okay uh, as blast number is increasing you can see less than 10 percent of myeloblast here yeah, 10 to 20 and in blastic phase we have greater than 20 which is generally similar to AML except we can't see a cytoplasmic structure that is called as I mean nuclear structure that is all rods which are present in AML but absent in CML so now we are in chronic phase, accelerated phase that increase anemia, blast 10 to 20 percent and basophils about 20 percent. Increased number of basophils we can see. In blastic phase there is about 20 percent of uh, blast cells and similar to AML. That is about the blood. Next we will go to bone marrow. So bone marrow we can see cellularity that is hypercellular bone marrow due to proliferating myeloid cells. When you see myeloid cells, there is increased myeloid to erythroid ratio, I have already said. So, we can see anemia due to less erythroid proliferation. Erythropoiesis is low in the bone marrow and megakaryocytes are generally smaller. So, less number of thrombocytes and bleeding tendencies due to that. And uh, cytogenetics, we can see T922 translocation, that is uh, phenylphia chromosome in the, uh, we can identify that. Uh, for diagnosis and the cytochemistry I have cell new, uh, said that uh, neutrophil alkaline phosphatase score which is generally low in CML but uh, when we see one more thing called as leukamide reaction in which the SNAP score is high so we can differentiate between CML and uh, leukamide reaction in this way and uh, other reactions like uh, there is increased B12 binding capacity why because we see anemia so there is increased requirement of b12 so there is increased binding capacity and uh, there is also increased uric acid okay uric acid level serum uric acid so this is about the cml okay it's generally not so tough if we understand just this translocation a, B, L, B, C are translocation, okay?
Thank you very much.